Neighborhoods across Minneapolis are dealing with an uptick in the number of shootings. Shot spotter activations are up 72% from this time last year. Rich Chapman has more on what some believe can help end the gun violence. It's become a common occurrence daily for people living in South and North Minneapolis. Shots fired, a person is hit, but will survive. Many in these communities turn to social media to see what happened overnight, and there are details of who was shot, where, and when. Mayor Jacob Fry gave city council members numbers to back up what residents experience daily. During the week of July 14th, there were 146 shot spotter activations, and during the week of July 21, there were 152 activations. Mayor Fry says in the past two weeks, 32 people have been shot, many innocent bystanders. Year to date, this has been a, a higher shooting victim total um, than in the last five years with 288 victims. Um, next closest was in 2016 with 178. Friday morning, a mother posted these pictures showing how bullets flew through her son's bedroom. They went through the mattress and out the backside of the home. She says it was rapid fire coming from all directions around 2.30 this morning. We at the table with these young men and these young women, and right now it's just conversation. Trey Pollard, founder of We Push for Peace, says he and his crews hit the streets nightly, trying to defuse situations before they turn violent. But some of the young men and women who will tell you that if you show me something different, I'll do something different. He believes a collaboration between business and community could create opportunities for those involved in the shootings. Pollard says offer these young people an alternative, then they will put the guns down. What can substitute that, right? Proper employment, et cetera. Like, absolutely, man, I'll man, I get up and go to work every single solitary day if I had the opportunity to. Reg Chapman, WCCL 4 News. There are young people who want to get out of gangs and away from uh, guns as well. Many organizations, including We Push for Peace, are getting area business owners to offer them opportunities. Keep watching WCCO on TV and online for continuing coverage of this story.